Have you ever tried to fix your grandparents phone? You know, you always do it and then you try to explain it to them and then they'll always be like, Oh, but beta, every time you always try to fix my phone. But you know, in the golden time, everything so so much better. Well, that made me think, is old really gold? Behold, the legendary bullet. Although it looks 100 years old, it's really not. It has a BS6 compliant engine, which is a 350cc twin spark engine that has 19 horsepower and 28 newton meters of torque. It's not a lot of go juice. It struggles a little bit after 60, but it looks the part. I mean, it looks mean and it looks rebellious. The best thing is it's all black and I really like that. The legendary bullet has been in production ever since its inception in 1955. As you can see, Royal Enfield have made it a point to maintain the looks. And I for one kind of like it. When it comes to riding, the 350cc Twin Spark delivers its torque very early in the range and the upper rev band is quite uneventful apart from a lot of vibration and noise. The bullet comes with telescopic forks on the front and twin shocks at the back in a softer, more plusher setting, making it decent enough to flatten out any bumps the road can throw at you. Given its upright position and soft suspension, it makes the bullet a great cruiser. The other factor encouraging you to ride slowly are the brakes. The bullet is equipped with a front disc that comes with ABS as standard, which provides with a decent amount of bite. However, the rear drum brake is prone to locking up. The bullet has a dry weight of around 189 kgs. For the weight it carries, the bike feels surprisingly nimble. However, the lack of oomph to overtake is very noticeable and it does feel like the power plant is struggling with the weight. When you really come to think about it, there's no other bike in this market or in this segment that gives you such a beautiful analog experience that's so old school. Uh, when the settings are right and when the environment is perfectly fine, when the it's a cold winter's night, there's no traffic, you're just riding at 40 in fifth gear, the bike is just popping and crackling everywhere. It just feels really nice. Uh, well, there are a few things that I would love for the bike to be better at, which are the tires, which need to be a little better. I, I suggest you to buy new tires if you are actually planning on buying this bike. I would love an a better instrument cluster because there's no gear indicator, there is no fuel gauge, and it's just a really, ooh, what's gonna happen next? kind of environment when you're usually use, driving this bike and that's it it's a really nice bike to be honest I do like it my colleagues will not be agreeing with me but do let us know what are your what are your views on this and this has been Bhavneet subscribe to the channel like the video and have a good day mm -hmm.